How do you get a bidding war to happen on your house? That's a question that I probably get every single time I'm sitting at a table with one of my clients. I'm Brian Carver, I'm the sales giant. I'm gonna tell you exactly how a bidding war happens and it doesn't always just happen the way that you guys think, right? So most people think you get a bidding war as soon as you put a house on the market and a million people come out of nowhere and they start bidding the price up. And that does happen. But all you need is two people, right? I'll give you guys an example. I've had houses that have sat on the market for a few weeks and then out of nowhere, we get two people that fall head over heels in love with the house and they go back and forth, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, back and forth and the price gets bid up, bid up, bid up, bid up, bid up. But typically what would generally happen is if I put a house in the market right away, the market bears the price that we launched the house for and what ends up happening is we get multiple offers that come in and I go back to all the buyers and all the brokers and I tell everyone to bring their highest and best offer so my client can review all the offers at the exact same time and make a decision. So that is the more common way a bidding war happens. But sometimes I have a house that sits for a few weeks, a few showings, but out of nowhere, right? Interest rates go down or the market turns a certain direction or inventory gets a little tight and this one house stands out. So don't just think because your house doesn't have a bidding war today, it may not get one in the future. And the big thing I always leave, lead all my clients with is that a bidding war happens when the value of your house is there, right? So if you're not getting a bidding war or you're not getting activity, it just means you're a little too aggressive on price in today's market.